Hello, you absolute legends. My name is Don Cavanaugh, and today I'm going to show you how to use the melt temp station to determine the melting point of substances in chemistry class or anything. First thing to do is turn it on. Now, this melt temp station actually integrates with a small digital thing called a LabQuest. So we want to make sure things are plugged in. Data cable gets plugged in. Turn this sucker on. Turn on the instrument itself is plugged in. You can see how this thing is reading out the temperature. Now what we're going to do because we're interested in the melt temp is we are going to hit the graph button. There we go. And now it shows a graph. Now it'll show a graph in real time of the temperature. Turn it on. So we just turn it on here. Note that this right here is really just a gauge like on a gas stove of high, medium, low. I know it has temperature settings on there, but those temperature settings, these temperature settings are not the ones you're looking for. These are the temperature settings are the ones you're looking for. How to prepare your sample in the capillary tube to do a melt point. Here is our sample of benzoic acid, and we have it just, we just have a random amount inside of a weigh boat, and we have the weigh boat on a hard surface. It's important that we have the weigh boat on a hard surface. These are called capillary tubes or capillary tubes. Now they are capillary tubes because they're very tiny and thin. They're hollow glass, but note that they're closed on one end and open on the other. Look at the open end and tap, 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 tap. I'm trying to drive some of the benzoic acid in there and look, I already have some. That is enough, that's all I need. Now that is on the open end. I'm done with this. Now, here is what's called a drop tube. The closed end of the capillary tube goes in It's already hammered down a little bit. Let's do another drop. I'm gonna do one more drop. Now, benzoic acid does this very well. Not all chemicals do this. What I want you to note is that you just need the tiniest of bit in there to hammer down. And if you can see it at the end there, you can see it. And this is all you need to do with your sample for a melt temp. Now I'll show you how to put your sample into the instrument and read it. So I want you to note that there is there is a magnifying glass right there. And if you can see inside of there, you should see some wells, like a metal block. You should definitely see a metal screw in there. Okay. All right. Now, if you look up here, you see these slots? I'm gonna put it in the, there's the middle slot, there's the left slot, and there's a slot on the right. I'm gonna put this right in the middle slot. Okay. Now, can I capture that? I don't know if I can capture that because of the light. Okay, but you can, oh, there you go. You can see the three slots there. All right, now, my melt temp is turned on and I hit the play button. We see a live feed that is growing of our melt temp in real time. Now this is an opportunity where we hurry up and wait. We wanna watch two things. We wanna watch this viewing window down here and we wanna watch this temperature scale. What we wanna capture in the viewing window is the video of what it looks like when it's melted. So I turned it off and you can see much better what's going on in there because the light isn't blinding now right there. Now right now what you'll see is just a solid piece. It's a little out of view here. But when it is turned on and the thing is act actively heating it up right here, this will look like it begins to sweat. As soon as you see the first drop of sweat, 
you look down here and read what the temperature is. This is benzoic acid melting. It is, the temperature is at 117 degrees. When you see the first bead of sweat, you want to read your LabQuest instrument. That's my first bead of sweat. LabQuest says 122.7. It is now completely liquid in a few seconds. 122.7 was the first bead of sweat. It is completely liquid now. And that temperature, a completely liquid now, is 130.1. So it's very time sensitive. You need to watch this very carefully like a hawk. And then as soon as you see the first bead of sweat, look at the temperature. And when it's all melted, look at the temperature. If you happen to miss it, you can go to this cooling function.